I got to watch out. He's vicious. He's like... <laughs> What's going on? It's up. I thought I'd come over and try. Isn't that a problem? I do a little tour of the house. Okay. Not, not much to it. Let's see. What, what, did you, what can you show us? Um, the entertainment area. A little feng shui action. Um, the flat screen. The very first thing I bought when I moved in. I had no furniture, but I had a big ass TV. Awesome. And I used to slip on the ground uh, with the dog and watch my big ass TV. <laughs> <laughs> the entertainment center is new too. What video uh, games do you have? Oh, uh, barn. I've got a number. These are the ones that are on the shelf I haven't played for a while. Left for Dead. UFC cards. Halo. Halo. Fight Night. Halos. This is for my PS3. It's a PS2 game. Oh. This is a cartoon that I thought was hilarious, and I had no idea they made a, a video game of it. And I saw this in like the five dollar bin, so I had to get it. Fallout. <clears throat> Absolute awesome game. Grand Theft, of course. UFC. And then I've got the UFC for PS3 unopened. I've got an Xbox One too that's unopened, and I have another Xbox One that I play. So, Bioshock, awesome game. Bioshock 2 is coming out soon. I've got to get that. Assassin's Creed, these guys actually uh, sponsored me for a fight, and uh, I can't wait for the new one to did come they, out. Did they sponsor Switch? Maybe, they sponsored a few of us. I feel like, because I feel like they're trying to activated. Gears, of course, excellent. This, I lost like so much time playing. I put in, I don't even know, I probably, probably played in hours, a month, two months worth. That's I put in funny. several marathon weekends doing nothing but playing this and That's awesome. driving to the donut shop at like 5 a.m. Do we put it back in the order that it was? Uh, okay. Because these are the ones I haven't played for a minute. Okay. So the current playing ones right now, I have Gamefly. Which I'm playing uh, Half Life 2, and then I bought Borderlands, which is this game's highly addictive, also. What is it? Um, you just run around and you kill things, basically. Very cool. And you upgrade in guns, and it's pretty fun. And then this I have only played, Flashpoint, I've only played, Dave Camarillo recommended it to me. I've only played like 30 What's seconds that? of it. It's a, it's a war game. Mm -hmm. I haven't got to play that much of it, so. I still have to get through a few games before I can get to it. But that's what I do with all my free time. Because I'm too tired from training to do anything else. Mm -hmm. But you can do this. Mm -hmm. From like my last So all the energy I have is to do this. And I got my books down here too. So sometimes I do read. But uh... The intellectual. Depends. Like there's so many good video games right now that I'm not going to get to another good book <laughs> for a little while. Like, sorry books, the video games are taking over. Till after Christmas, probably, I'm not going to get to any books. Yeah, Oops. so, sorry, brain. <laughs> okay, let's see the rest of your home. You have this fabulous... Yeah, my fiance and a friend painted that uh, when she was in college for me because, as you can tell, when I pick all the furniture, it all kind of tends to come out brown. <laughs> She's like, I want something bright exactly. and she, pretty. She wanted some color, so I bought like blue pillows. <laughs> and then she, we, I put that up to so, awesome. uh, help decorate. And I, I painted that in college with Bob Marley. Oh, um, so I can be creative sometimes. Oh, look at you. Yeah. And this is my important file box for all my tax papers and everything. <laughs> so it's probably pretty smart to keep it both. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if this is lost, I'm screwed. But yeah, let's keep it a little fire. So you have the fireplace ready and waiting for us to come in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is actually uh, Bricks' favorite spot. So like, uh, he's a pretty lazy dog. His number one hobby is sleeping and, and chewing the hell out of things. <laughs> like, look at this thing, look at it. No, got it. Have you ever seen a, a conk like eaten up like this? That's fantastic. Like, yeah. Is it mine? <laughs> so he, yeah, he's pretty nasty with that. Um, and he always lays in front of here. He sits in front yeah, of he, he passes out in front of that thing until he gets so hot he has to like 
lay that somewhere else for a couple of minutes to cool down, and then he crawls right back over there, camps out. Now we're gonna go and sh you're gonna show me basically the it's biggest the, thing. Yeah, the biggest thing. When I watched, uh, I was one of the tap out shows, and uh, they did a thing where they were in Chuck Liddell's house, and uh, I noticed he had a Mega Touch in his kitchen. And I had commented to my boss at the time that that's when you know you're baller, that's when you know you've made it, when you can afford your own Mega Touch in your yeah. house. So, like a week or so later, he calls me up and says, Hey, come downstairs, I got something for you. And then he had this, uh, this wonderful thing. It's not quite the high tech. The thin screen that, uh, that Chuck you don't, has. You don't need that. You don't it's need it's that. vintage. It's vintage, vintage. yes. It's, it's more valuable that way. Exactly. Um, so what, what, what's your favorite game on here? There's too many, but I have this thing about being... Me and my fiance are very competitive, so we always play to beat each other's scores. And then uh, people that I have dog sit breaks when I have fights and, and mm -hmm. other things I have for each other, they play the games and... Uh, Sometimes they beat my scores. You come back and you're so like... So, uh, yeah, it pisses me off. Like, once I, when I came back from Thailand, I'm like, I was gone for a month, so all of my scores were beaten <laughs> because Michelle, her brother, and uh, friends had beaten a lot of my scores. So I, I sat up for, like, two nights. You're like, I will reclaim. I could not stop, especially Hoot Jones. I could not stop until I beat What's Hoot Jones? Jones? Uh, it's just a basketball game. Super high tech. See my high score, 261. Love the music. Oh, let's see. It's this thing, when I have the high score though, I don't play anymore. Look at you. I'm on fire. I think you should just forget MMA and just be doing this. I know, if I could make a living playing Hoop Jones, I think. I have a quite comfortable life. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's not bad. That could be better. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I see you have the. What's, what's the other game you have on here? Oh, this is got a lot of time for. Oh, okay. You're good. Oh. 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 Coordination. There we go. Oh, look at that. I'm doing it to the side though, that's why. What's missing up? Now that the camera's on me, of course now I'm messing up. When you're behind there, everything is fine. This way he knows it's my food and I'm letting him eat it. Ah, oh, I see. This is brick top. My house. This is brick top. He's hungry, as you can see the drool bubble. <laughs> okay, you ready? Get it. That's, That's discipline. How long did it take you to teach him that? Well, I mean, from, from birth, from uh, when he's a little puppy, right away. It's just, you put it in the bowl and then he just walks over to you, you make him get back, you make him sit down. You let him know that it's not his food, he's not entitled to it. It's my food, and I'm letting him eat it. Mm. <clears throat> I'm alpha, bitch. All <laughs> <laughs> pictures. Mm -hmm. Your fiance. Yeah, it's me and my fiance. This is probably from, I found this uh, a while ago. It's probably, I mean, I probably had it up here, but that's from when we met like five years ago, four years Aww. ago. Um, so invitation. Save the dates from Swick's wedding here. It's pretty cool. He did a, uh, like a fight ticket. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And then uh, my cousins saved the date with his dogs. <laughs> um, Phil Baroni's saved the date. Very nice. I didn't get to make it to that wedding because I went to uh, Thailand uh, when they had it. <clears throat> and this, this is one of my favorite pictures ever. <laughs> my uh, buddy's kid <laughs> for Halloween, <laughs> they, they took him to like Kmart or whatever to get the picture taken. Like, oh, it would be a great picture. And he dressed up, you know, in this. And he had some big, like, some big scary lady <laughs> who was like trying to take the picture. And uh, he, she was freaking him out. And then in this picture, like, he just like freaked out and and uh, the pitchfork you can see got caught in his hood <laughs> so he like he had dropped the, he had dropped it and he's like freaking out and he took that picture so it's like it's like one of the most genuine pictures you could you could take of like, <laughs> he's like i am totally freaking out yeah, right now i feel bad because it, it amuses me so much but like it's a great picture